what's good welcome back to the channel guys in today's video we're going to be covering an attack using the new hero equipment the spiky ball with my man smacks from zika down using this sarch root rider smash attack and picking up six triples in legends league so we're going to break down these attack for you guys make it super simple where you guys can use this and the link to the army will be down in the description below let's get right into the action All right, on this first attack, we have this centralized town hall base. And like I said, we're going to be covering the spiky ball today with the King's Gauntlet. We got the frozen arrow and visibility vial on the queen. We got the grand warden eternal tome, healing tome. And then we got the royal champion, the all rider puppet and haste vial on her. Now, the one thing I will say about Sarge is we are using a Lava Hound in this attack to get the Sarch a little bit deeper, deeper in some bases when you can. And I will say, since a lot of people have been adjusting to this anti-spam, anti-Root Rider bases, uh, Sarch has gotten a little stronger and Sarch really never got weaker. So Sarch is, I mean, you can see the incredible value we got right here. We got some great funneling value. We pick up the Town Hall, we pulled the CC, 30% of the base is pretty much gone already. And we have an L-shaped funnel for the rest of this attack. So the base is already set up um, incredibly to push through the rest of the base. I really think Sarge is still one of the best ways to start an attack if you're not using like a full spam attack where you just drop everything. I think Sarge is by far the best way to start an attack. And it's just my opinion. I, I think that it, it could definitely go wrong, uh, but so can anything else like a queen charge. But I, I just think Sarge is super strong. You're going to get a lot of funneling value and you're going to pick up the value you need um, with a very minimal amount. I mean, you are using quite a bit of your spells, if not all of your spells and then the blimp. But other than that, you're not using anything else to get there uh, besides maybe like a lava hound or a couple balloons in front of the blimp. So when you compare that to like a queen charge, you're using five healers, your super wall breakers, balloons, and quite a mass majority of your spells to get that queen to do exactly what you want the queen to do. So um, we haven't used the king ability yet. I'm assuming that's coming soon because we're so deep in the base already. It might just be cleanup though, um, just because we are so deep in the base and we are using the mighty yak on the barbarian king we got the unicorn on the queen we got the diggy on warden and then we got the spirit fox on the uh royal champion so you saw there we got the king ability going through and the spiky ball destroyed some of those defenses and now we're just gonna finish cleaning up but honestly after the sarch and the initial main army going through this attack was basically just clean up anyways i mean it was perfectly funneled um you get the perfect l shape like we talked about uh really you just drop the troops and let them do the rest because there was no spells to place obviously because we use them with the sarge so put the troops down use the hero abilities where you need to and just let them do the rest all right on this next base we have this box style base we have two compartments opposite side of the town hall both invisibility spell towers with a lot of heavy hitting defenses over there so we see the Lava Hound come in. We're going to get the blimp right on the inside of this part of that compartment. That Super Wall Breaker is going to open up that compartment. And then we're going to be able to use the clones and the rage spell and visibility spells to get the Super Archers going at this point. The invisibility spell tower was already popped with that uh, blimp flying over that area. So that was fantastic. And then we're gonna also pull the CC, which is always gonna be a plus. Anytime you can pull the CC, that is really what is the most important thing. Quick funnel, CC, those are the top two. If you can get the town hall down, that's a bonus, but it's not an absolute must. You're still gonna be able to triple bases without getting the town hall down. So not gonna waste any time afterwards. We're gonna get the main army going with the queen, with the barbarian king, with the healers and everything right down here at the bottom part of the base and start pushing into that eagle artillery compartment you don't want to take too much time especially because sarge takes a little bit of time at the beginning of the attack so i will say 
once that starch starts to fizzle or once you place down that last spell once you have your funnel created get this army going because the longer you take uh the less beneficial it's going to be for you you know you're going to end up time failing on some of these attacks because of that reason and that that's mainly because of sarge just because of the time it takes at the beginning of the attack so you don't want to waste any time getting this main army down just get it going you already got the funnel created get it down and and let these troops do the rest of the work so you're gonna see we're gonna take off that entire compartment after that invisibility spell tower which is beautiful uh rc ability went off hogs came out not gonna get through that town hall right away which is a little unfortunate and we are losing quite a bit of troops still got the queen alive queen is in here gotta take out that town hall and then we got the barbarian king with the spiky ball see that spiky ball come through and just do a ton of damage allows the queen to then one shot that inferno tower and we pick up a bunch of surrounding buildings as well and that also kept the king from going up into that compartment and fighting the inferno tower and the king walked on the outside instead and that was absolutely perfect and then we're going to be able to finish off this base with our heroes wall is open and the barbarian king's going to walk up and finish off these last couple buildings but we still two minutes and 40 seconds or less you know we had a perfect funnel with the sarge um didn't get the town hall but that obviously is not the most important it is about funneling and about pulling that cc those are the two main points when using sarge all right on this third attack we have one of these centralized anti root rider basis again which by the way i have an army in previous videos that you could still smash these bases with root riders and valkyries double overgrowth it is 100 possible these bases are not anti root riders you just got to know where to place your spells and you'll get it done so we got the lava hound coming in on that uh, air defense and that's going to allow the blimp to get right up on the outside of this town hall compartment we're gonna get that wall destroyed with the super wall breaker clones and rages come down with the invisibility spells we're gonna be able to take out the town hall we're gonna pull that cc and we're gonna pick up some of these big buildings on the surrounding part of the town hall as well and most importantly we're gonna get the funnel built this is gonna be more of a u-shaped funnel we didn't quite get some of these buildings if this area right here would have been destroyed also that would have been a perfect l shape we're going to start it over here on this side and push up through that eagle artillery finish on the monolith at the end would have been no problem easy peasy uh, but it is what it is we're going to push through this part and we're just going to finish over here at the very end even though the queen decided to walk on her own over here um, we'll see how much she can get down before she gets taken out because normally when the queen is by herself as you can see she takes some heavy hitting uh defenses not very well and a lot of health gets lost very quickly you're gonna end up popping her ability and you'll be lucky to see if she picks up um a decent amount of value over there but the entire main army is pushing through had that rc ability pop with the haste file and the hog rider puppet and these root riders with the healers are just insane we're also not using the rage gym which we could possibly use the rage gym i really like the healing tome um i think this could kind of go either way to be honest uh, maybe smacks will let us know his opinion on that and why he uses the rage gym uh down in the comments below but uh or why he uses the healing tome and not the rage gym i i think it could kind of go either way i really like the healing tome i, I use the healing tome on all of my spam spam armies but this one when you're using healers uh you could definitely use the rage gem i feel like it'd still be successful um but maybe that's why he uses the super valkyries the super valkyries drop two little rage spells for him with the main army and that allows him to push through a little bit quicker and the healing tome just gets so much value and that that's the main thing i could think of the healing tomes just get you so much value it's almost impossible not to use that especially with the valkyries um, the healing tome keeps the Valkyries alive so much longer and with them being alive underneath the eternal tome healing tome and possibly a rage from the super Valkyrie they're going to destroy uh, buildings and defenses very quick all right on this fourth base we have this box style base and this is one we see quite often in Legends League honestly right now um, this is one that was supposed to be kind of like an anti uh Sarch type base but you could definitely get triples on this base while using Sarge. 
And one of the key important parts is you don't need to go for the town hall. We cover that in the second attack. The most important things to get with your Sarch is great funneling value and pull the CC. Those are literally the two most important things. So as long as you can get great funneling value and you can pull the CC, you're gonna make this attack work. And that is just the absolute truth. So you're gonna see, we're literally getting phenomenal funneling value with this. We're gonna actually pop the poison spell tower and the rage spell tower, and we got the entire CC pulled. So I don't think Smacks could have got any better on that one, to be honest. And we have no problem starting the main army over here, pushing towards that ricochet cannon and all these infernos over here, and then working up towards that town hall at the very end. No issue at all doing that. I think that's the right move on this base, especially with the funnel we got. We definitely should attack from the side that he attacked and push up that way. Um, and then we got the Royal Champion that's gonna help with the funnel also. Um, and I will say if you are using the haste file and the hog rider puppet, you could use her ability a little early if you want to and keep these troops funneled in. If you use that Royal Champion on the side um, as like an extra funneling tool instead of using her with the main army, um, I would definitely consider popping her ability a little early um, and get that ability going. Use it as a funneling tool. I think the hog riders are an amazing funneling piece uh, with the Royal Champion and obviously the haste file. She just flies through and destroys defenses and stuff so fast so it's just all incredible all around so we got the barbarian king sneaking up on here on the town hall we did pop the barbarian king ability already with that spiky ball picked up the value we needed and now the town hall is going to go down we still got the royal champion ability and still got the archer queen ability as well do find that tornado trap which is going to be a little bit annoying but there's so many troops alive still got the healers alive still got plenty of root riders alive and valkyries as well and all the heroes with the um uh, archer queen ability as well and there's obviously no defensive buildings left just normal buildings that are going to be clean up and we're going to pick up that triple but Again, on bases like this, you don't have to panic and think that you have to get the town hall down with your Sarge. That is not the most important thing. I'll say it again. In my opinion, it is funneling and getting the clan castle troops pulled. That way you could deal with those on the outside with your main army before you push into the base deeper. All right, on this next base, we have this diamond style base. And this one is a little bit spread out obviously not your typical teaser style base but definitely have the town hall isolated by itself down here and then some very big wide compartments up at the top near that eagle artillery and everything so right away smacks notices and the first thing i notice when i'm using sarge where's the clay castle okay we notice the clan castle is up here in the middle of the base way far away from the town hall so automatically we're not that concerned with getting the town hall with our sarge it's just not needed you know we're gonna drop right here in one of these big compartments and we're gonna pick up very good value on some defenses and we're gonna also pick up uh funneling and then we're gonna also pull the cc that way we can handle those troops before we get to the town hall or before we get deeper into the attack which is always a positive now we're gonna start the main army up here. After we got this great funnel, very little troops down here, our buildings down here. So we got a great L-shaped funneling. Gonna start through that Eagle Artillery and work all the way down to that Town Hall at the very end. As we fight through the couple Ice Golems that were left, now we're gonna be able to push through this main part of the base. Gonna see that Healing Tome, Eternal Tome come through and just basically help these troops get back up to close to max health and then obviously pr protect them through the duration of that eternal tome also. So I'd be curious to see, since the king is with the main army in here on the middle, when are we gonna use this king ability with that spiky ball? Um, I, I, I think this equipment definitely has promise. I've just really enjoyed the king's gauntlet rage vial combination. I think it's insane. I don't know if there's going to be a better combination on the king, um, but I definitely think the spiky ball has promise. Especially if you could potentially pair uh, the spiky ball with just some other things, like maybe 
an angry jelly like an angry jelly king dive with the spiky ball and after you get the initial part of that angry jelly out um, that part of the attack you know with maybe like a, a yeti bomb with it and then once you get the king a little bit deeper in the base you use that spiky ball and just get absolute destruction on there so you're gonna see we don't even need the king ability right away in the attack um, the one thing I will say also is this is phenomenal for cleanup you can see it go through there with the final eight bases and just absolutely destroy all the bases very quickly um, definitely helps avoiding time fills we're gonna say that for sure um, there has been some great um, great plays where Smax has picked up some great value but also damaged some very strong defenses like infernal towers and allowing his troops to get them destroyed a lot quicker all right on this last attack we have a similar diamond style base and this one we're going to use the the sarge on the very bottom first thing i noticed right away clan castle is directly next to the town hall so that means we pretty much have a free reign to go for the town hall and we're not that worried about it because we know we're going to pull that clan castle troop regardless so we we push in with the lava hound and that allows us to get the blimp right where we want it to be spells are going to come down clones and rage and then we're going to allow these super archers to pick up that town hall and pick up some phenomenal funneling value at the exact same time so barbarian king is going to start the quick funnel for these root riders to take out that cannon now barbarian king's going to walk the other way completely by himself while two ice golems chase him oh one ice golem's going to split come back towards the main army and all of our valkyries are already walking on the outside of the base uh this one i don't know if we we had a great funnel but i don't know if starting right in that area was probably the best choice um maybe starting on this area that would have been a better choice this is definitely not a max base as you can see we got a lot of town hall 14 uh bases or buildings and defenses and then we also had a we also had um uh level one ricochet cannons also so barbarian king ability goes off there gonna pick up uh some of the inner internal buildings and then also deal damage to the wizard tower and that eagle artillery as well which is going to allow us to damn uh, take those out a lot quicker i will say i think there could be some promise possibly pairing the spiky ball with like earthquakes or maybe zaps um and you can get some defenses taken out very quickly but i definitely like i think if we used the ability a little earlier in some of these attacks instead of saving it for possible cleanup um, once we got to the core of the base just pop that spiky ball and deal as much damage to some of these buildings as possible i think that's going to allow the army to live a little longer and it's going to allow us to pick up um these internal heavy hitting defenses a lot quicker all right guys that's gonna do it for today's video hope you guys enjoyed the content as always i appreciate you guys stopping in on an everyday basis and supporting the channel if you guys want to support the channel more please drop a subscription to the channel that would support more than you guys know and it goes a long way obviously this is day one using spiky ball and our clan especially smacks and just trying something familiar but different at the exact same time but i definitely think this ability and equipment has promise and i think we could find a uh we could possibly use it in our spam army that we use root riders overgrowth and valkyries as well so once i get it unlocked and start getting it level up we're gonna have to play around with this a little bit see what other army combinations we can come up with but this one right now is definitely usable again that link to the army will be down in the description below we'll catch you next time